And of course, uh, during this last segment, we have Mr. Albert Bender, the coordinator for the Native American Indians and Pe Indian and People's Coalition for Democratic Growth. And of course, Mr. Bender, during this last segment, let's give you an opportunity to uh, sort of talk about some of the future plans for this organization and some of the things that uh, individuals who might not be active in the People's Coalition aspect of it, uh, who might want to uh, join you. And let's, let's do it from that perspective over the last few minutes that we have here. Okay, that's what I'd like to address in that <clears throat> our coalition plans to broaden the uh, geographic scope of our activities mm -hmm. to where that we're not just a coalition that deals within the Middle Tennessee yeah. area. Mm -hmm. We'd like to become a coalition that would address these issues across the state. Mm -hmm. And even further than that, to mm -hmm. address not just issues in the state of Tennessee, these yeah. kinds of issues, but throughout the uh, whole region, throughout the whole southern region, mm -hmm. and to bring in uh, larger numbers of uh, not just Native American people, but mm -hmm. African American people, mm -hmm. Asian American, uh, mm -hmm. Mexican American, all the people of this land mm -hmm. uh, that are affected mm -hmm. by these issues, that are affected by uh, questions of grave desecration, that are affected by questions of development. Mm -hmm. So I said we want to bring in everybody from Native American people to African American people mm -hmm. to uh, European American people to deal with these issues and we feel the stronger that we get mm -hmm. the more effectively we can deal mm -hmm. with these issues. Have you ever thought in terms of any kind of political uh, uh, aspirations for this organization which is to say that certainly these coalitions play significant roles but in the end in America as you undoubtedly know that uh, it all boils down to votes and it all boils down to politics in a real sense, uh, uh, well, in the sense that your uh, ability to be able to wield votes and move people. H how do you see that organization working within that uh, political arena? Well, I've had some, I guess, uh, some people call me uh, a person who has visions mm -hmm. of things far off down the line. Mm -hmm. Some of your visions come to fruition, some mm -hmm. of them don't. Mm -hmm. Some of your visions are mm -hmm. uh, can be realistic, uh, or some can be less realistic than mm -hmm. others. But what I'd like to look at is how we could, as a coalition, mm -hmm. get involved in more uh, politics on a both a regional mm -hmm. and national uh, level, mm -hmm. to where we're dealing with all the issues that confront mm -hmm peoples of uh, the United States. Mm -hmm. We're talking about issues of uh, mm -hmm. racism, we're talking about issues of health care, mm -hmm. we're talking about issues of employment, mm -hmm. we're talking about issues of housing. Mm -hmm. And that what we're doing now would end up as just being a jumping off point for mm -hmm. getting into those larger mm -hmm. issues and also dealing with uh, matters on the national political scene mm -hmm. in terms of uh, whether we can still uh, effectively uh, pool our votes in terms mm -hmm. of looking at uh, the Democratic and Republican parties or mm -hmm. whether we have to look at the possibility of some mm -hmm. type of third party mm -hmm. and you never know what can be the genesis of mm -hmm. a third party. It could be our coalition mm -hmm. right here. Mm -hmm. And of course all of these issues are very, very important not only uh, in reference to the Native American Indian in this particular area but it's also important to Native American Indians wherever they might be. Is that even though we might have a rich archaeological source here but uh, issues that are raised and dealt with here are also important to Native American Indians and other peoples in other areas. Is that, would that be a correct statement? Yes, assessment? that is correct. Yeah, that's a very correct statement. And in that regard, in fact, within the next oh, week or so, around March the 9th or the 10th, mm. there's going to be a national Indian meeting in mm. Tampa, Florida to deal with the issue of graves desecration. Mm -hmm. Because this is an issue that affects Native American people, not just in the South, mm -hmm. but it's an issue that uh, Native Americans throughout the entire United mm -hmm. States feel the same way about basically. Mm -hmm. And so uh, there will be some kind of uh, uh, organization, unity kind of organization uh, in Florida here recent, uh, coming up soon uh, it, dealing with this as an it, issue, is that what we're saying? Yeah, it'll be a type mm -hmm. of uh, unity conference mm -hmm. of uh, Native Americans uh, throughout the country mm -hmm. in Tampa, Florida within the next, oh, I'd say about a uh, couple of weeks mm -hmm. because as I said this is an issue that really hits hard for all Native mm -hmm. Americans and really strikes home because mm -hmm. we revere uh, mm -hmm. our ancient burial sites Good. and mm -hmm. we just uh, feel that w when you destroy and uh, disturb Native American remains mm -hmm. you know it, it's like destroying us mm -hmm. live Native mm -hmm. Americans it has you know such an effect mm -hmm. such a strong effect mm -hmm. very good and, and of course uh, you know we've had organizations dealing with the National Association for Advancement of Colored People and other organizations dealing with uh, uh, other interest groups and racial groups and et cetera. Uh, do you see this as an organization that could possibly uh, serve as a spearhead? 
to deal with some of the problems that the Native Americans have now outside of grave desecrations and some of the economic problems and et cetera. Would you see this as uh, such an organization being able to bring people together to do that? Yes, I do. And what I would like to see is uh, our coalition being perhaps the genesis for dealing with a larger, the larger Native American issues, uh, mm -hmm. as I said, housing, unemployment, health care, mm -hmm. racism, mm -hmm. and not just as these issues as how they affect Native Americans, mm -hmm. but bringing all the peoples mm -hmm. of uh, this country together to deal with those mm -hmm. issues, how these issues impact uh, African Americans, mm -hmm. how these issues impact Asian Americans mm -hmm. and uh, Hispanic Americans, mm -hmm. and bringing a, and forming a coalition mm -hmm. of all our affected mm -hmm. groups for our own mm -hmm. uh, greater strength. Mm -hmm. Very good, and of course, uh, let me uh, thank you over those last 30 seconds that we have, uh, Mr. Bender, for coming by and giving us that perspective dealing with the uh, problems and some of the challenges facing uh, the Native American Indian and how you are working to try to bring in other groups to work within this coalition in order to deal with uh, what we consider to be a very, very important issue. And of course, that has to do with the welfare of the first American. And, and I think that uh, we're simply delighted that you came by and talked with us today in reference to this. And let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.